What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed in literally forever. It's been so long. I'm so happy to be back in front of the camera. I feel good. <laughs> so today's video is a makeup haul of stuff that I got while I was in Manchester. There's a couple of bits I got when I got back but I thought I'd chuck them in just so you guys can see them. Um, so I, as you guys know, Kat Von D is like my favourite makeup brand, just the stuff that they create is incredible, it's always so kind of like veered towards the alternative and there's just so many cool products, so there's no stand near me, I've said that a bajillion times, um, so whenever I go to like London, Manchester, Brighton, anywhere that there is a Kat Von D stand, I, I save up, I'm ready to go, ready to spend and I <laughs> have a good time. So um, I was so excited to be going to the Kat Von D stand, so I went a little wild. I also went to NYX, um, I got a little bit from the body shop, and then the other bits are from Beauty Bay. So I'm just gonna jump right in and show you what I got. So I've popped everything in this Kat Von D bag. It's a studded kiss, and then it's Kat Von D on the other side. I got this as a free gift, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah, usually when you spend over a certain amount, they always have little like deals on where you can get like free stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the stuff that I bought from Kat Von D um, and then we'll go from there. So I was really interested in the Metal Crush highlighters. So I went and had a swatch and to be honest, I'm not very experimental when it comes to highlighters. I tend to like a white, maybe a white gold, a white silver, a white blue. I like really kind of cool toned um, highlights. I never really go for like a gold or a pink. Um, I'm very predictable when it comes to highlighters. So I swatched them all and I found that I really, really loved the Stephonic, is that how you say it? I don't know. The Stephonic uh, Metal Crush Highlighter. So this is the packaging it comes in and then you flip it up. You get a decent sized pan. There's a big old pan of highlight. Um, and it looks like this. So it's a white blue kind of highlight, very, very cool toned, and I'm obsessed. Sometimes good things happen to good people. Um, while I was there, it was 10% off all um, Kat Von D, which was amazing. And I also had a 10% voucher that I got through the post for Debenhams. So I got 20% off everything I bought. So, okay, so I'm not sure the full price of this, but with 20% off, it was 21 pounds 60 rather expensive for a highlight but your girl had to have one so here we are um i suppose if i'm gonna get any more of the collection which let's be real i probably am um i will try and wait for it to be on offer again um wait till i can get some good discounts and then i'll probably grab some more because these are really really good highlights i have used this and i do really like it so the next thing i knew that i wanted to have a look at was the what are you even called the Alchemist Holographic Transformer, so it's teeny tiny. I didn't really hear much about this usually when there's a Kat Von D release, it's really big, it's all I see everywhere. I haven't really heard much about this, I didn't even really know what it was, but it was a new Kat Von D thing, so I had to, you know, look into it. Um, so what it is, is a very teeny tiny baby Alchemist palette and it just has the one shade which is the teal aquamarine so when you look at it in the pan it doesn't really look like much excuse my horrific nails uh, it's you know if you've seen the alchemist palette you know what it is they're shade toppers you can customize your own like um eyeshadow colors depending on what base you use it on top of um so this is just another one to add to that set it's the bottom one here so it's a aquamarine tealy kind of colour, um, kind of similar to the green to be honest in the er original Alchemist palette but you know, I had to, I had to. I, I fully hold my hands up and say if something's in cute packaging it's got the Kat Von D brand on it, I'm probably going to buy it, let's be real here, but I'm a sucker for um, cutesy, glittery, shimmery stuff on the eyes so why not? And with 20% off, I couldn't say no. So this one was £9 with the discount, so you know, I had to. Um, so I picked up two of the Everlasting Lip Liners. So I did originally want Lolita, the lip liner. Um, I have the eyeshadow blush and I really, really like it and I thought it'd be really cute to pair with it. Um, I have the 
Lolita Everlasting Lipstick and I love it, it's so good for every day, it's absolutely gorgeous so I thought I would grab the lip liner too. Unfortunately they were out of stock so I grabbed OG Lolita instead which is similar, not exactly the same but it's still a really gorgeous nude um, so I thought it's good to have in my collection. I then grabbed Rosary which I've been wanting for ages but um, when I went to Brighton it was sold out so I didn't get it. Um, um, Rosary is this like bright red kind of colour there, I think it would be so cute as an eyeliner, so cute to draw like you know little hearts and stuff and good to just throw on the lips when I'm feeling lazy. So I got these for uh, £13.5 each with obviously the 20% discount. Next up is something that was on my list again when I went to the Kat Von D in Brighton but it was sold out and it was also sold out online. It is the uh, brush for the eyebrow pomade which is the number 70. Um, so it's just a really stiff um, pomade brush, it's a slanted eye brush and it's a lot stiffer than I, I like I knew it had to be stiff obviously for pomade but it's a lot stiffer than I anticipated which I think is really good. Um, I have a similar one in Real Techniques but I definitely prefer this one. I think it's really good quality and I'm very happy with it. I'm glad to finally have it. And I got that for £14.40. Um, so the next thing I was kind of on the fence. I'd seen it advertised a lot. They bigged this product up um, but I wasn't sure whether it was something that I would benefit from. I swatched it and I was like that is kind of cool and then I was like no no I'm not going to get it and then when I got to the checkout and realised it was 20% like in total of everything I was like I'll get it. So it is the uh, Kat Von D Lash Liner which if you guys haven't heard of it or have you been basically it is a liquid eyeliner for your waterline so you can waterline with it, tight line with it everything like that, it's like smudge proof, it lasts throughout the day. It is really, really cool, it's definitely a cool product. I've used it, I love the look of it. It's amazing for if you've got like a really dark, smoky eye. Um, so it has this like strange applicator, it's like a doe foot applicator. Um, if I swatch it for you there, you can see that it is like true black. Um, it is a really cool product, I'm glad I picked it up. I don't know if I'd pay full price for it again because it's not something I'd use every day, I wouldn't use it that often, but it's cool to have. Um, and that was £15.30. The last thing I picked up from Kat Von D was a little version of the Locket setting spray. So I, um, I don't have the setting spray, I've never tried it before, but I've been meaning to try it for ages, I don't know why, I've just never picked it up. So I got the kind of travel size of it so I can give it a go, see if I like it. Um, oh, I don't actually know how much I paid for this one. £8.10 I think? Yeah, I think, yeah, £8.10 for this. So good price on the discount, I do really like it. it. Smells like cucumber which I really didn't expect. When you look at it, the packaging looks kind of like harsh, but the smell is actually really like refreshing, really strange. But yeah, I really like this so I'm really happy with that. So those are the bits I bought and then I got some freebies so like I said I got the cute little bag thing I also got a um, sample size of mother which I don't think I've ever actually heard of not that I really tend to look into a lot of the pinks and the nudes they're not really my go-to um, but it is a cute color similar to Lovecraft which I got as a freebie once um, so that's it there definitely cute, definitely good to have in the collection and a nice little freebie. I then got a little tattoo liner which is, you know, it's always useful to have extra tattoo liners. <laughs> I got a sample of the Locket setting spray which if you can see is in there. Um, so that's really cool, so now I've got a backup when mine runs out, whoa, focus. And then I thought this was really good to get as a freebie, this is like decent sized product. Um, I got the Locket Translucent Setting Powder. That's like a a lot of product there. It's 5.4 grams, so it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think it's like a fine powder, that's a lot of product. I also have another one of these that I bought in Milan, so I've, I'm not gonna run out of this for a very long time. So yeah, really happy with that freebie. I think Kat Von D treats their customers really well. So the other bits I picked up in Manchester, I got in NYX. So there was a huge boots, like the biggest boots I've ever seen. 
um, bigger than the NYX stand was bigger than the one that I usually go to when I go to London so that was really cool so I picked up a couple of bits there I got the Strictly Vinyl lip gloss in Femme Fatale which is just a black gloss which is what I'm wearing now I think it's so cool I first saw this when I think it's Bex Lecta on Instagram I'll link her below she's amazing she got sent some of these and I was like I have to have those but my NYX stand in town is it's tragic but yeah so I had to grab this so I got this one and then I also got it in the shade Bad Seed which is a green gloss which is so cool so again, this is another shade that I saw Bex use and I was like, I have to get my hands on this. I am obsessed. I love it so much. As you can see, it's like a green gloss. It's so cool. And then I also picked up a duo chromatic shimmer lip gloss. Um, like I said, I'm a sucker for anything cute and sparkly and like, I don't know, that whole kind of duo chrome thing. I'm feeling it. I love it. Um, this is in the shade Crushing It, so I swatched this in, I don't remember where, I saw it in store somewhere, can't remember, and um, they didn't have Crushing It, um, the, the tester, so I was really annoyed, they had a similar one, but I was like, I want to compare it to Crushing It, can't remember what the shade was, but eventually I found it in this Manchester store, it's like this one on the end, it's got like a pinky shift to it it's so cool so again this is like a really cool like lip topper haven't actually tried it out yet but i'm glad to rude i'm glad to add it to the family so nyx also had an offer on when you spent however much oh, i can't i don't know it was three for two on those and then when you spent a certain amount, then you got a free uh, NYX liquid suede like mini sample. So I got this shade Kitten Heels, which is a bright red, which is one that I've wanted, but I've never picked up purely because um, the liquid suede formula isn't my favorite. I tend to like a dry down matte liquid lipstick, whereas this doesn't completely dry down, but um, I think the shade's really pretty and it's it, they feel nice when they're on so it's definitely something that I will use um, so I'm glad to have the sample of it so the next couple of bits are drugstore and I picked them up when I went into Wigan so Wigan is where my boyfriend is from so every maybe like two or three times a year we go up and we stay with his family and we visit everyone um, that's what I say I'm going to Manchester because a lot of people don't know where Wigan is it's like near Manchester but not quite um, so I went shopping with my friend Beth who lives in Wigan Beth, if you're watching, I love you. She is the cutest. I met her on Twitter years and years and years ago and then we became really good friends. She's my bestie and whenever I go up to see Jake's family, I am like, I have to see you. Um, so yeah, so we went for a little shopping day and I picked up some really cute bits. So um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand Bleach London. I've only heard of them in terms of like hair stuff, um, but they have a makeup line, who do? Um, the Boots in, was it Boots? Superdrug. I want to say I'm pretty sure it was super drug the super drug in Wigan was so good it's so better than the one that we have in Southampton so they had loads and loads of makeup so I bought a couple of bits that I'm really excited to try out I did have to check they are I want to say vegan and cruelty free yes they are vegan and cruelty free um so I picked up two of their glitterati eyeshadows I got the shade text me black and phase one so I'll open those now so these are like um, pans that you'd have to put into a palette, which I don't have a palette that these could go into annoyingly. Um, that's what it is. It's a black eyeshadow with loads of blue glitter. It's so cool. So it's swatches like that. So yeah, I just thought these were really cool and we don't have anything like this in town. So I was like, I'll pick it up while I'm here. And then if I like it, I can order more online. Um, so phase one is a white glitter with bluey greeny reflex. Again, it's like a very cool toned one and very predictable. Oh, these are so hard to get out of the packaging. So they're a very, it's just above the black there, if you can see it. They're a very gritty kind of glitter. Um, 
Oh, so it just says cosmetic body glitter. So yeah, I'm not sure if you should put these on your eyes because they feel a little bit gritty, but I just thought these would be really cool um, to do like festival looks and stuff like that. Oh, I'm covered in glitter now. But yeah, I was like, I have to grab them. And it was three for two on all the makeup and super drugs. So I was like, why not? So then I picked up this, which, okay, I kind of bought it for the packaging. It's so cute. It's like a cigarette box, you know, that's cool. Um, so they have, so it's a matte lip paint and a matching lip liner. And the box is made from recycled cardboard, which just adds to the cuteness. I think this was kind of pricey. I can't remember exactly how much, but it will be linked below. And um, if you want to check it out, I haven't tried it, but it's swatched really nicely. So you get a black lip pencil. Oh, that is scratchy. Um, it's at the bottom there. So you've got a black lip pencil and then a black liquid lipstick. which is there. So it's a really nice pigmented black liquid lipstick. You can never have too many. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Like I said, the packaging is just so cute. I mean, I don't smoke. I don't like smoking, but like the packaging is so cute. And the picture on the front is just like aesthetic AF. Like I'm down, I'm down with this. Um, okay, one more thing I picked up when I was in Wigan was a eyeshadow from the Body Shop. Um, it is, I don't know what this shade is, um, unfortunately, it's just the bright yellow, there's only one yellow. It's this one, uh, ooh, Santiago, is that what it is, 135 Santiago, I think that's what it is. Um, these are so freaking pigmented. I did a look with this eyeshadow the other day, which I will pop a picture in now. But yeah, I, I've never used any of the Body Shop's um, eyeshadows before and I swatched it and I was like, these are amazing. They've also got like greens and blues. So I was really tempted, but I thought I'm just gonna get one, see how I go, and then I can always get more because um, the Body Shop in town's pretty good for stuff like that. So I'm really, really happy with this. It was only five pounds, such a good price and obviously cruelty free. So I love that. Um, so the last thing I got in Manchester, I picked up in the airport on the way home. We flew because it just saves so much time um, and we can fly from Southampton Airport. So that's a good time. So yeah, pick this up in duty free. It's the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick and the shade Back Talk. So I'd seen It's Likely Makeup or Geordie use this and it just looks like a really cute everyday colour. So I was like, oh, I need that in my life. And obviously with it being duty free, you get money off it. So I was down with that. So I grabbed that one. And then the last two bits are from Beauty Bay. So um, Wet n Wild is recently on Beauty Bay. So now we can get that stuff in the UK. So I got the Wet n Wild bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. For those of you who watch It's Likely Makeup. Um, you'll know that she loves this product, so I was like, I'm gonna get it to try it out. Um, she doesn't use it as a bronzer, she uses it as like an all over, it's just supposed to make your skin look really glowy and really nice, so I thought I'd give that a go, it was only like 4 50 And then the other product I got, also <laughs> recommended by It's Like You Makeup, is Freck. So it's a product that you can use to create fake freckles. Um, this is the XL one, it doesn't look very XL, but this is the bigger size. Um, so basically you um, just dot on your skin to make some little freckles and then let me see if I can actually show you guys and then you just like tap it out with your finger to create other little freckles. I have it on today. I think it's so cute, I'm obsessed. Before I would just draw them on with like a pomade but I really like this method. So that is all the makeup for this video. Uh, this was a lot longer than I planned it to be, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about the products. My hand is now sufficiently covered in swatches. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know your number one makeup product at the moment. What is your go-to, your holy grail? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.